Well, what up, guys? It's your boy Starfire Fourteen here, back with another video, guys. And today, guys, um, I'm gonna be showing you um the Starfire game piece back in full review. So a lot of you guys have been requesting about this, like you know, look at the PC game one more time, but in full detail. And yes, I will open the you know the backup of the PC right here, and the, you will also look at the back, get the ports, the HDMI ports and stuff. And also, I'll describe what kind of monitor I'm using and this chair I just got recently. I actually like it; it's pretty comfortable. And yeah, I'll go into full detail about the PC and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and then go look in the back. Guys, first. now we're inside the PC I opened. You see right here. Yeah. So this is the back of it. And so we have a. This I forgot the motherboard's name. It's a very long name, so I grabbed the manual. So I'll show you guys. Yeah, but this is the you know the user guide for the motherboard's M5A 78L plus M USB down three. Are you gonna say that? Yeah, but it's using a 560 rate on graphics card. It's right here. The graphics card's right here. And it's using a, a PVA, you know, cooling fan. And for the CPU cooling fan, um, it's a dead cool, much made in China. And here's a RAM stick. It's 8 gigs of RAM right here. So I'm guessing, yeah, you can add another stick if you want to. If you really want to, you can add another stick. And the power supply is right underneath this thing right here. This board, unfortunately, I can't open that up right now. And we have another cooling fan right here. And if you want, you can actually really add an SSD here. I just don't know where the slot is, but you actually can. And yeah, this is the front part, and I'll show you the, the back part now. Uh, this is the port part. So if you don't see well, just bear with me. So I'll explain everything here. So uh, this wire right here is not really necessary. Um, it might know, it might be like, you know, it's obviously you have to put a plug into your monitor, right? But you can use this um, tops. Uh, you can use this top section because that's what it says if you open the PC up. So I will say, for example, so um, when I first opened it, right? So I plugged my HDMI cable right here, and when I did, my, my monitor wasn't on; it wasn't showing. So then I was got a little worried. So I then I realized you to, I looked at the important like you know documentation documentation that came with it, and it's very important for you guys to read it before you actually open this PC up. Before you set up, just look, take a look at it. But I'm using the scoop, so basically it doesn't work up here in this front panel right here. It doesn't work. You have to do it right here. So you see where this v, um, DVI cable is? And this is the HDMI cable I plugged in right here. Th this is where you put all your ports. This you don't put here because it won't show, otherwise it won't pop up on the monitor screen. So I'm just letting you a heads up. So if you have like problems with it, you know, it's not going to go on your screen. It's because you put the monitor plugged in right here. And this is just, you know, my, key, my mouse and keyboard plugged in right here. And this is where my HDMI cable and my speakers are plugged right here. And my LAN cable port is plugged in. And you also got an, two more imports you got there and yeah that's pretty much uh, you know sums up for the back side and now i'm going to be showing some gameplay of fortnite on it this is show how well it goes so the purpose of this reason i'm just going to go on video instead of stream because when i stream it drops fps so yeah i'll be back with you guys now i brought up uh fortnite i'm still to prove the coming fps it can run and um with the computer it came with this you know mouse just to review some of you already know but it came with this as four mouse buttons, but if you're going to play Fortnite with these mouse buttons, um, the middle one works for right here. Like this middle, middle mouse button works right here, but this one doesn't. It works for other games, but doesn't seem to work for Fortnite, I guess. But if you, I could configure it on the um, mouse app software. There should be a software for CyberPower. You can look on the website. If you do, leave leave like a comment down below, and then I'll just probably do my description so I can show you all guys. I'll, that'll be, I'll, I'll appreciate that. And you can change the sensitivity to DPI pressing this. So if you want to press this button, the lowest DPI, the lowest is red. The highest is I felt like hot, hot pink. And I'll just keep it this setting. Purple is really nice. And with this, it came with the keyboard, um, a multimedia gaming keyboard. Marks WASD for you. It has a headset switch, volume, you can the internet to open the internet button. But I just use, I just use Chrome. But you can also adjust the volume here if you're not using speakers. And yeah, it marked arrow keys and stuff. And I like the, you know, the lights out this logo. I actually like this keyboard. Even if it's not like backlit key keys. That'll be even better if it was, but yeah. Uh, so let's get into Fortnite stuff right now. You probably want to see that. So um, it's using these settings right now. So this is my settings for it right now. It's, you know, far, all off. It's 100 as resolution. And it's running about 120 FPS on that. And if you were to do it all like, you know, low, make it zero, you'll probably get about 200 FPS. There, if I could raise it, 
Let's raise this bad boy to 200 FPS. Oh man, you must click that. And here, yeah, you have 200 FPS around that. It was like, you know, it means that's 200 FPS. But if you really want to play the settings, I mean, go ahead. But it's really bad. But I recommend these settings if you want 120 FPS for the best of Fortnite. So if you go 120 FPS. And then you just make this f epic or far. I just use epic. I mean, sometimes I will, like, lower it if I want to. But I just like epic. So, um, yeah, you just get uh, 120 FPS straight right there. And so... And the quality looks nice. You don't need shadows. You don't need all those on. Because, you know, they affect your gameplay. Shadows, like, it'll be hard to spot enemies. And I'm kind of, like, actually used to this. So, yeah. This, and, now, and about the monitor, it's it's an Acer monitor. And uh, I'll try to leave a link to that in the description from Best Buy. If I can find it, I won't leave it. But um, I'll be, I'm pretty lost in Best Buy finding this thing. Um, because I just picked it up at the store. And, yeah. Uh... And you many of you guys have been asking about the PC itself, about its back black lights, you know, the LED strips on the back of the PC. Well, here you are, guys. Yeah, I didn't show this part, but there's LED LED strips right here. You can, if you just change the front right here to this color, I like this because it's pretty good. Yellow orange, it will change yellow orange back right here. It's kind of spotted, but it's a little tainted. But if it was in the dark, it would be much better to see. And yeah, that pretty much sums it up, guys. Um, I'll try to leave a link to the the monitor and the PC. And you could get a better monitor than this. You can probably get a curve monitor. You can probably see better with gaming. And yeah, guys, um, if you if you enjoyed the video, guys, please like down below. And if you have any questions, go in the comments, put your question there. I'll try to answer as best, best as I can. And um, yeah, guys, peace out.